as a senior in high school, Joe Devlin said, uh, why don't you build one of those garvies as a project? He says, we got all the lumber. And he says, you could use everything here in the shop and build a garvey. I built the garvey and uh, we used white pine on the sides and we planked it and, and I built it in school and we launched it and we uh, got a water witch outboard uh, from Monkey Wood, I think it was. And it was one of these motors that had the gas tank on top and if you overfilled the tank and a little gas spilled out, the spark plug was in the back and it would set the motor on fire. <laughs> it did that on our first trip. I ran and jumped out of the boat. <laughs> and my father put a bucket of water and we got it going. But then I started really building and at night I would work in a shop in my, behind my pop's house. We built the shop and believe it or not, I'm close to like 98 or 99 uh, garvies, uh, duck boats, uh, a couple of rowboats, a couple of big boats, big garvies, and I, I built actually close to 99. We built a 28 footer and it was built out of cedar and we, to make the boat swell up so it wouldn't sink when we launched it. Al Grover had a lift that came out of the front of the building and it was on some sort of a chain hoist. We put a whole bunch of water in the garvey to swell the bottom up prior to launching and Al Grover picked the boat off this trailer early on a Sunday morning. We would block traffic <laughs> on Wickham and the water ran to the front <laughs> And now I had to run around the back and pull it. I, we thought it was going to crash. <laughs> but we did have a happy launching. And we had hooked the steering up backwards. And so when you turned the tiller this way, the boat was like an outboard would go the other way. Uh, but we did have a safe launching, and it was a 28 footer. Back maybe 20, 25 years ago, when you went over the parkway, you looked down the bay and you saw 10 or 15 guys clamming. Every one of those guys needed a garvey, and it was a business that they made a good living at.